Hey everyone, this is V Jose Freddy Two back again with another video. Today I'm going to do a right now I'm going to do a review for the bicycle premier back. I'm doing this review for the Magic Alex Man, as he requested it, and another review. So be sure to check out his page for some great videos and tricks. I will post it, the link somewhere. Anyways, this is the Bicycle Premier back deck, if you haven't heard of it. It was put out by BMPokerWorld.com, it was their custom deck. Different sites have been putting out their own decks, for instance, the one I Jack put out the gold-backed Cupid backs not too long ago. Well, earlier this year, that, those are the uh, red and blue gold-trimmed Cupid backs, they put those out. Um, another seller who has a website also on eBay, which is MERS67, put out the um, bicycle. Well, he put out a deck too. I forget which one it is. Well, I know which one it is. I just can't recall the name. Um, 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 let me think for a second. Well, anyways, he put out a very interesting deck. I will be getting it shortly. So I'll show it to you when I get it. And if I remember the name, I'll mention it. But different sites have been basically producing their own. Uh, a lot of these resellers have been producing their own decks. And this is BM Poker World's entry. It's the Bicycle Premier back. And the front of the box you can see is all in a nice gold, metallic gold colored, as well as maroon colored, or burgundy colored, I should say. And the top says bicycle in gold. The bottom says premier back and playing cards just like any standard deck of bicycle cards basically, as you can see. One notable difference, the spade pip in the center is gold. And as you can see, the uh, lady figure in the center of that spade pip is actually accented in a burgundy color. So she stands out quite a bit. On this side it says Eric Gerson Finnis, made in USA, as usual. On this side it says United States Playing Card Company, Erlanger, Kentucky. By the way, it does say Eric Gerson Finnis, but to my understanding, it is the Magic Finnis. It only says Eric Gerson Finnis because of some kind of legality on the part of the United States Playing Card Company where it has to say Eric Gerson Finnis on the box, no matter what, as long as it has a bicycle name on it. At the top, it simply says poker, and as you can see, there is a gold seal on this one. Also, the cellophane on this package had a gold strip around it for it peeling away, as opposed to just a plain one. On the bottom, it says the United States Plain Card Company information, trademark info. And in the back, you get to see what it looks like. It's all in gold. In burgundy and I guess kind of pink almost and the bottom says www.bmpokerworld.com if you want this deck you can only get it at their website or their eBay page so check them out and they do offer a lot of great cards on the flap there is trademark information and that's it there is no reveals or anything like that which is a little bit disappointing inside the box you'll find one special draft card a blank card and there is the back design again in that kind of a burgundy and gold color just like on the box it's a very interesting unique design I like it the borders are a little bit thick and sometimes they seem a little bit I don't know crooked or uneven but actually they, they look fine I guess very unique border around the edges of the cards as you can see and it's a very nice back design all around. Now one thing I notice about the cards is they're all metallic ink. Also, the red cards are the red cards are actually in a kind of a burgundy color and in metallic -y. It's kind of hard to see I guess, but that's what it is. Cork cards, as you can see, have a lot of metallic gold accents on them. They look fantastic. 
fantastic. And there is a spade, and as you can see, the clubs and the spades, the pips and the clubs and the spades are in gold, and they're very metallic -y. Overall, you know, the cards, they look fabulous. There are a couple of jokers, which I will update for you. Just give me a moment. All right. Now, I'll put the rest of the cards aside. The Ace of Spades looks like this. It's, whoops, <laughs> a standard bicycle Ace of Spades, except it's in gold, and the lady figure in the center is in burgundy. And she really stands out, as you can see. And it says Bicycle 808 on top, U.S. Point Card Company on the bottom, and you know, standard ace of spades essentially except that it's a non-standard color for zokas there's actually three of them there are two that look like this they're gold they're standard bicycle zokas except they are in gold and no guaranteed zokas or anything like that and there is one more zoker and it looks like this it is burgundy colored zoker and it is smaller than the other one as you can see Quite a bit smaller almost like a guaranteed joker without the guarantee and centered in the middle of the deck uh, in the middle of the card that being said let's move on how to the cards look and feel the cards handle well they feel great they fan good Despite the fact that I'm not very good at fanning. Suffle nicely and everything. What more can I say? I got no complaints about them or the quality. They look great, they handle great. As do most bicycle cards. Keeping that in mind though, they are, like I said. The new magic finish so it'll be even better than most standard bicycle cards cards themselves are you know, nice and thick good stock good good thickness good flexibility and everything so you know I definitely recommend you pick them up as with most cards just because they got such a nice unique different back design metallic colors all the customization that went into it and it's a pretty good price I, eight or nine bucks i believe on the website and yeah that's my review of these cards i will be eventually doing a review on the new fan backs that were released not too long ago and I'll see you next time with that.